Thank you, President. My adjournment matter is for the Minister for Health, Minister Thomas. I have been contacted by multiple people who have experienced being denied access to their prescribed medicinal cannabis administered via dry herb vape while being treated in Victorian hospitals. In one such case, upon admission to hospital, a person's prescribed medicine was confiscated by hospital staff and the patient was unable to access it at any point during their stay. This was despite the hospital in question having a nearby smoking area and the patient offering to only take their medication in that area. For those who require inpatient services and who, for a number of reasons, cannot take their prescribed medicinal cannabis via another method, blanket bans such as these are damaging. They deny patients access to prescribed medicine and often force those already going through stressful medical treatment to use harmful and addictive opioids. In Victoria, there are no guidelines for hospitals to ensure medicinal cannabis patients who administer their prescription via vape can access their medication. I'd also note that these vapes are TGA approved administra administration devices. Instead, there is the suggestion that a prescribing doctor should negotiate an access plan with the hospital, but blanket bans continue to be a barrier. In New South Wales and Queensland, there are clear guidelines for admitting medicinal cannabis patients to hospital. These ensure adequate treatment that deals with the patient's wishes and illness while minimising risks. These guidelines cover a broad range of subjects, including how a patient's medicinal cannabis should be stored while they are at hospital. We know that Australia's medicinal cannabis market is growing, and it's growing fast. Without proper guidelines in place for patients going through the hospital system, we risk shortchanging patients on the benefits of their prescribed medicine and forcing them to use harmful alternatives, such as opioids. So the action I seek is that the Minister commit to ensuring no hospital denies access to patients prescribed medicinal cannabis administered via vape. I seek that the Minister do this through developing a set of guidelines for hospitals interacting with medicinal cannabis patients. Thank you.